There's nothing quite like the sound of a city waking up in the spring. The birds, the garbage trucks, the construction noise beginning, a cacophony of humanity and nature that is comforting to me as a city dweller. It just screams spring morning. It reminds me of the hibernation that we're beginning to come out of now in many different ways as individuals and as a society. With the happy news this week from the CDC that vaccinated grandparents can visit their kids and grandkids safely, as younger students have had the opportunity to return to at least hybrid education in school, as more and more of us over time have access to the vaccine, we're beginning to make progress. The end is finally in sight. It was one of those funny experiences last week, immediately after I sent out our newsletter with a similar message and saying we're going to hold the line on worship until things are a bit safer, we got new guidelines from our bishops, what we'd been waiting for for a while. Uh, they're targeting April 19th as a date to begin loosening their restrictions. That's a Monday, so Sunday, April 25th, really. And uh, they've extended their capacity restrictions pretty significantly, or loosened them pretty significantly. Uh, the current limits are for 25 people to worship indoors, but they continue strongly urging people to suspend indoor worship. As of late April, they're planning to uh, expand those restrictions uh, to a maximum of 75 people or one third capacity or six foot distance between households, whichever is the fewest and therefore the safest. In our case, that would mean uh, up to about 20 pews in our sanctuary if we rope off the alternate ones uh, to allow indoor worship for a crowd that's almost our usual size in a small church. We've not made any decisions. This is not an official announcement that April 25th, everyone can and should come back. Uh, the Vestry and our reopening advisory committee and I will continue having conversations, but I want to share this news with you from the bishops about their plans for the future. Uh, as by that point, most vulnerable adults will have had the opportunity to receive a vaccine. We will, of course, uh, continue our online worship and uh, even when more people are returning to the sanctuary, we will continue to have Zoom available as an option for the indefinite future for those who have not had the opportunity to be vaccinated or would prefer to stay home for a while longer. Uh, we'll also begin uh, our outdoor garden services a little earlier than usual this year. Rather than waiting until the summer, um, we'll probably begin a bit later this spring. You'll notice, of course, that April 25th is after Easter, which is April 4th this year. So we won't have a triumphant return into the building for Easter Sunday. We'll still have our outdoor worship and our online worship as planned. But I hope that this gives some sense of a light at the end of the tunnel. Know that um, all of us are in very different places mentally with this. Some are thrilled at this news. Some are worried and cautious. And wherever you are, know that you are still a beloved member of this community, and we will not shut off access to our worship to anyone. Even as more of us return indoors to the sanctuary, those online options will still be there, and this new outdoor option will hopefully be another one you might like to take up, even just to hear the birds on a Sunday morning. So take care, and I hope you continue to have a holy and blessed Lent as we prepare for Holy Week and Easter, as our days lengthen the sun returns, and we move toward a brighter and better future later this spring and summer.